Alright guys, I'm going to help you with that ITV no signal problem that some of you get. So first thing to do this is, um, you, sh you might have got some with your Xbox, you need the HD cables um, with the audio. So you need those uh, for this to work. Now we, your Microsoft one should be gray and um, I didn't have those so uh, I went out to EB Games and bought one a while ago. But what you need about it, and it should have it on your regular Microsoft One, is this switch. That's part of the reason why you don't get a signal either. Because you need to make a switch, and you have to time it right to do it. But don't worry, I'll get you guys through it. Okay, so, right now we got to plug those back into the back of the POG. And i got to switch my Xbox from HDMI and plug in those cables there. So, give me a moment to do that. Okay, so now that I have it plugged in, if you have a yellow one, it's not used for anything. And now I have it plugged into the back of the TV right there. So it's plugged in. I'm going to leave the switch out here. And uh, these ends of the POG should be plugged in to the top and then plugged into the back of your TV here on your HD ports. Now on the computer, I have a Mac. Uh, don't think it'll make a difference for Windows. I'm gonna open up iTV. Okay. All right, so I got a couple of things here. I hope you guys can see it. I hope it records decent enough on the screen. So go ahead and turn your uh, but not the Xbox, my bad. Okay, go ahead and turn on the POG. Should come on. Also, what you want to do, you have to make sure this should have came with it. There should be a USB that plugs in the back here. And the USB, um, the cable plugs in there. And then the USB, there's the end of the USB that plugs in the back of your computer like so so right now I get no signal and also for some people to get no signal you might have to change your input that you have mine plays off 100 so now when we turn on our Xbox we'll see if we get a signal or not so now that it's on and I'm pretty sure it won't give a signal because we have to change the switch will it give us a signal yes it will alright but still, I'm pretty sure it's not HD, so we have to change that, so it's in component 2, I think. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not HD. Yeah, I don't like that quality. I'm used to HDMI. Okay, so, uh, the switch is on, uh, what's it on? It's on TV, I know you guys can't see, but if I switch it to the left, it goes to HD TV, so we have to change that. So on Xbox, go to my Xbox. Scroll all the way down to system settings. And uh, where do we go? Console settings, display, HDTV settings. Scroll down to 1080i. And when you, as soon as you hit 1080i, get ready to hit the HDTV button. So, 1080i. Now switch this quickly. Work to work. The Xbox may, should reboot. And the screen should get a lot bigger the screen because it means it's HD yeah there we go so it's a lot bigger takes up half my screen of the Mac and it is HD now because I'm not playing 1080i it's not as good but when recording it always shows up better on the recording than it does on your TV um, a lot better actually so I hope that helped the no signal problem um, if you still don't get one it's mine's plays off 100 component video right there there's two switches that you can hit for, what does that one say, S-Video, Component 1 Video, and then 100, which is mine, uh, what mine plays off. Now, it might be different for you just because your region, I'm not sure, but you might have to play around with that, but that should fix it there. So, yeah, I hope it helped, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped, and I hope you can uh, record those HD videos that you want to. Thanks, guys.